Uh, my name is Regina Dixon. I work at the Dayton Foundation. I have known the Catholic Social Services since 1964. In 64, my parents had separated. Uh, we were originally from Buffalo, New York, seven of my siblings, and we came to the Dayton area to live with my great uncle. My mom and dad had a very violent relationship. So we had to leave without him knowing it unexpectedly. So we came to Dayton. I was seven years old, uh, and my mom's best friend had a station wagon. And so as my dad went to work that morning, my mom and her friend, they had already uh, collaborated how to escape that type of environment. Uh, my mom had packed all of our clothes up in, our sewing machine, in her sewing machine. That's all she had, and her seven children in the back of her friend's station wagon. We didn't know where we were gonna go at that time, but she knew she had a great, her, her, our great uncle, her uncle, that lived in the Dayton area. So she and her friend and her seven children, they drove to the Dayton area, and um, we lived with our uncle for uh, several years. At the time, um, my mom didn't have a high school education or no type of training, just domestic work. She had uh, became familiar with, with some of the neighbors in, the, uh, in our community who had introduced her to the Catholic Social Services. And at the time, trying to provide for seven children, uh, that means clothing, feeding them, uh, health care. She had to uh, try to get some type of an assistance. And so it was during a holiday uh, back in 64 uh, when we had uh, first originally moved to Dayton and my mom didn't know where our Thanksgiving dinner was coming from and I remember a lot of individuals that came in that we didn't even I didn't know or recognize who they were they just had bought abundance of uh, bags of food and uh, turkeys uh, turkey and uh, uh, all kind of the trimmings and that provided us with a uh, Thanksgiving meal and that's when I realized the services that the Catholic Social Service provided for the community. It felt so overwhelming, like, why are, are these people helping us and we, we don't even know, know them, but they were so generous. And I remember them just bringing in bags of different groceries and, and we just wonder, like, why are they helping us? And, and they don't even know us, you know, but they were so generous and the generosity that was shown, it just always, that 15 minutes of bringing in groceries just always stuck with me. And I always just felt, like if I ever had the opportunity that I would try to always give back as I grew older and always reminisced back to that day this, that I, was, I felt that if I ever had an opportunity to give back to help someone else, like someone has reached out to help us when we couldn't even feed ourselves, that I would always uh, re remember how, how that moment felt and that I would try to uh, reciprocate uh, the, the kindness that was shown to us. It was like a seed that was sold in, in, in my heart and it just kept growing and growing as I, as I got older. And I, it's something that is just blossomed that I have to uh, try to uh, uh, get, give back. It, it, it will be a day that I probably will be with me for the rest of my life uh, because it has taught me to give. There are people out there that really can help change your life and change it for the better for that one moment.